quite a stack of cards to put away. It's been a couple months, and most of this, probably like this much, is just from a body haul. And the rest of stuff I've received, but I just haven't put it away yet. So let's get started right away. I'm going to start by sorting this. So everything is sorted into the binders that they all go into. There are a lot of exciting cards this storing video, and I'm thrilled to have them. There were some very big collection goals met during this haul, so let's get started. So first up, we have VIX. So this is my VIX slash New East mini binder. And for VIX, I have this Ken card for the Air album, and this set is almost complete. Very exciting. And then I do have a couple cards to put away for Leo's comeback. There are actually a ton of benefit cards for this era, and I have like none of them, but I will slowly start working on it. I do have these two album cards, and then this is the Tower Records card. So I'm going to put these in here for now. And hopefully this collection will grow a little bit. And I can find some more of these cards. But that's it for this one. Okay, so next up is Shiny. And I do have another binder on the way since this one is really full. But for Shiny, I do have some cards to put away. I'm very slowly working on my OT5 collection. Okay, so the first one up, I have Onu's Misconceptions of Me. So, for this, I'm just gonna put it here. I know they're not in correct age order or anything, but I don't think I'll worry about that until I have many more cards. Um, and then I have Minnow's Everybody card. And for this, I think I'll just tuck it in the back of one of these until I get more, and then I'll, like, rearrange everything. Because, like I said, OT5 is a very slow work in progress. So, I also have this Onu, which I'm not going to start another page. I'm just going to replace that non-official filler I have and put Onu there. And then the last ones I have are all for Don't Call Me. Yeah, I thought so. I put an extra page in here for these. I absolutely adore Onu's Don't Call Me PCs. I don't have any key yet, but, again, slow and steady. <laughs> um, and then the last one is in solos. So, I do have this Onu Solo PC for voice. And I do have an extra one up for trade, so hopefully that will find a trade and I can get the last one I need. But that is all the updates I have for Shiny. Um, I have a lot of key stuff on the way, because... I have all my group order for his gasoline on the way, but yeah, this is getting really thick. <laughs> and then we have my active binder, which mainly has ATs in it. So for this, I do have some ATs to put away. I purchased his MMT version Z photo card, so the Hong Jun that I had is up for sale on my page. And then the only other thing I have in here are the Parade of Benefit sets that I decided to collect for um, World, yeah, World EP1. So the first set I decided to get are the KQ Parade of Benefits. They're absolutely adorable. I am planning to only start collecting one or two Parade of Benefit sets per era because 
I previously went a little crazy and had too many, so I downsized a lot. But based off of the previews, these ones were adorable, and I was so happy when I saw them. They're so freaking adorable. So I do have this set. And the other set I decided to get for this era are the Wonderwall. I <laughs> I've seen so many groups do these. And I'm so sad that, like, my ults aren't around to do this trend, but I definitely wanted this set for ATs. Because they're so ridiculously adorable. So yeah, these are the two sets I have. I'll probably collect a page of album cards, but not a priority. The last thing for this binder is Purple Kiss. I'm absolutely thrilled to finally have the last Yuki cards I needed for Into the Violet era, which means this one is finally complete. Um, all the eras up until Geeky Land are done. Geeky Land will be a work in progress because there were so many cards. Um, and that's it for this binder. Let's do Monster X next. Okay, so for Monster X, there are a couple things, one of which I'm very, very excited to be putting away, and it is the first press card for Dew Honey. They weren't a huge priority, but I did decide to collect them just to make these pages look more cohesive. But, yes, now these are all done, so this era is finally 100% complete. Um, and then the next thing, I'm so excited, there are so many things I'm just I'm finishing out. So the next thing is I have Shonu's Sub K card. So this set is one step closer. I think I have Juhani's MMT on the way and maybe Shonu's also. Because I'm missing their version too. But I also have the last two cards that I needed for the Gambler era. This one fell behind and then it just took me forever to get these last two cards that I needed. But let me figure out the order of these. Blue then. I think it's... Right? One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. They look a little funny, but I just like the way it looks. But this era is finally done for albums. This has been so long ago. I don't even know when it came out anymore. <laughs> um, and then we have... This is the session. This is the last photo card I needed for Shape of Love. So, all of the album inclusions for Shape of Love are done. And then I do have a couple pre-order benefits that I can put in here. Oh yeah, so there's like no room on this page. But I'm thinking... I'll take out this one since it's like the larger 9 size, and I'll put in this one. This is the Apple Music version. So there's this page, and then I think, yeah, I put in another page for more of them. I don't want every single card for this era, but there are some that are really adorable. And then after this... I do have some Wanho photo cards. <laughs> um, let's see. So this is an album card for Blue Letter, which is one of his comebacks that I didn't even buy a physical album for. I just bought these Pre-Order Benefits because that was my concentration that comeback. So I'll get more cards eventually. And then these are Facade, which... Do I even have a page for these? I think so. This is Obsession. I'm guessing this is Facade. So, I guess it's just a two pocket. So I have these two Pareto Benefits. I do have some album cards for Facade. I'm just collecting, or Facade, I don't know how it's pronounced. 
I decided just to collect the message card sets because they were my favorite compared to the album cards. And I'll work on getting the page of Premier Benefits slowly. <laughs> Probably next year when I do another buy haul. But yeah, these, especially these three, adorable. And that is it for my Monster X binder. <laughs> I know there's rumor of them all enlisting soon, which is inevitable, so this very full binder will probably need a makeover soon. And then next up is Sungyun. There isn't much for him to put away, but there are very, very exciting cards. So the first page here is all of his unique era stuff. And the middle ones here are from their first photo book. I never actually thought I would get Sungyun's photo book card, but I did. So, here. I do have this now. I am absolutely stoked. I was so lucky to actually... I think somebody told me there was a listing for it, and then I like immediately purchased it. So I'll put this here. And since all of his photo cards for Unique are done... I'll look for the other two if I ever find them. I probably will not ever get Yibos, but if this nine pocket page is all I ever have of Unique, I'm content. So yeah. Oh, the backs are very nice to see all lined up. Um, and then one other thing in this binder to put away is for the Only Lovers Left era. I finally have this <laughs> stupid lucky draw photo print card or whatever from the cafe event this era although the back is very adorable it's like a picture from the era with like some bread but I only really care about this part <laughs> so I finally have this one and this set is all done so yeah for these if you don't know it's one of those like photo print booths you pick whatever image you want and then the backs are random that Sunyun designed These are just whatever picture the original purchaser wanted, but I'm very happy that one of them is from his first win that era. Adorable. So that's it for this binder, and I do have one more thing to put in his non-album binder. Alrighty, so I do try to collect Sungyun very, very thoroughly, and it's one of these things where I realize it'll take a very long time. But I was very, very lucky to have found a seller for his ISAC broadcast card. He competed for, I think, soccer this year. And a lot of artists have broadcast cards for the event. And I was lucky enough to find his. It's very, very nice. And I'm not sure where to put it, so I decided to just put it on this page. Since he doesn't have a lot of random cards, so for this one... I just stuck it on this page for now. But, yeah. Happy to have it. Alrighty. Up next is Ace. And I have a lot of very, very exciting cards for them as well. Um, the first thing is from their Japanese release, All I Want Is You. I finally have another signed card for them. I have Dong Hoon's version B, which is, for the most part, the version I want signed for all of them. But I think, yeah, my Byungkwan is version A. So, yeah. So I finally have this. You can, can't quite tell the difference between the cards, but this one is very, like, flimsy, and this one's more like a plastic. And if you, if I can pick it up on camera... You can kind of see it, maybe. This one's holographic. The ones that are able to be signed were the holographic ones. So I'm still going to keep this, I think. And then... Now I have this one. I don't want a full set of signed ones. At least one per member. So now I'm just missing June and Wow. I think for this extra one... Should I keep it? Sell it? I don't know. I'll just stick it in here for now. 
next cards are for the Savage Era. I've moved some things around in my Ace Binders and split a couple of them up. So now I have Savage Broadcast cards in here with the era they're from. And for this... Oh, I forgot to plan for another one. I have a couple more. Since I decided to work on this recently, it's a little easier now that they don't have a comeback every couple of months. Since they're on hiatus. But I have this WoW, which is from, I believe, a fan sign. This Chan, which is just a regular broadcast. And then this WoW, I think, is like a lottery broadcast or something. But they're all for the Savage Era. And now I have my first full nine pocket page. They'll be split up into the different sets that they are once I have more, but for now, they will just stay on this page. And I think that's it for this binder. I do have some more cards for the non-album binder. Okay, so for this one, I have two special cards to put in here. The first is WoW's uh, Chuja event. Um, it's from their Chuja Island event that they had. I believe this is a streaming one. <laughs> so, they're very hard to find. There's like two per member. Um, but I'm very happy to have been able to get this one. Thank you so much to who sold it to me. And then, the second one is, this is Biancon's Fave Boy streaming photo card. Uh, these are double-sided. There's a set of five of them. I was very lucky to find this on Mercari Japan for a really good price. So I'm ecstatic to have these. <laughs> I'm gonna put him here. They're very thin, not my favorite like card, and they're very weird shaped. And the last thing for Ace is for the Remember Us era. I finally found a trade for June's. So now I have Chan's Make Star Winner postcard for the second round. And this set is complete. And that's everything for Ace. Very exciting. I love that I get to work on some of their more rare items now. And I just want them to come back, though. <laughs> Alrighty, next I'll do my mini random binder. It's a good amount to put away in here. <laughs> so the first thing is my The Rose stuff. OT4, very slow in the works. Okay, so I have some photo cards for... Wusung's Moth album. I do have their latest album, Heal, on the way still. I have three of the four cards. And I still have, I believe this one, an extra one of this one up for trade for the last one that I need. So if you have that, check out my page. But that's it for the rose. And then we have Hanse. <laughs> so... I always go a little crazy with Hansei. I just love his cards so much. But I do have a ton for him. So I'll put these in. I just can't say no to his cards. They're so precious. So here's these. I had to start double sighting his collection just so that it fit in here a little better. I think I have the other one of this on the way, so I might move these around really quick. Okay, so leave space for that card. I do have this one for continuous as well. And then future is now. I have these two. Um, I think these are K-Town for you. And then these are Chaos, which is basically my entire Hansei collection. Pure Chaos. Um, these are benefit cards. These are the album cards. So I'll put these in here. I love this card so much. Let's see. These three. Does this make any sense? Maybe I'll change these two. Okay. I think I like that. So there's a bunch of cards. <laughs> I 
I should downsize this eventually, but I don't have a hard to yet. And then these are some pre-order benefits for Chaos. I absolutely adore the cat one. I think this is, yeah, I thought this was Makestar. <laughs> so we have this one from Wonderwall. Really love this one because you can see his tattoos. There are so many benefits for the Chaos Arrow, but it's definitely one of my favorites. I adore the pink hair. Um, so that's the album cards. And then I do have some non-album stuff, which will go back here, I think. Yeah. I have some more of their trading cards. I adore this one so much. His styling for these trading card sets, one of my favorites. I'll put you here. And then this one is like very much in the same era and some of the same outfit for this, but this is not from the trading card set. This is some of their merch, but I'm gonna put it on this page since it kind of fits there. And then I have this set, which I'll probably move this guy over. Put that there. And then I love these cards. Anything that like highlights his tattoos, amazing. So I'll put these here, and then I'll put these two here. And yeah, I have more Hansei on the way, because I have like a small addiction to just buying Hansei cards. Only if they're well priced though. <laughs> and I have a bunch of extras up on my page too. Um. So that's Hansei. And then, really exciting, I have this last card PC for BM that I've been looking for for probably years. I would love to collect OT4, but I don't really think I have the means for it. But I do really want this set, so I collected this one. And that BM took me forever to get. And then the last thing for this binder, I have two random cards, a June and Bangchan. I decided to start collecting 17 again, even though I dropped them like a year and a half ago, maybe two. So I will be collecting the 8, June, and Hoshi. Very, very small though. <laughs> and if I did collect Stray Kids, I would collect Felix and Bang Chan. And I just got this for like a dollar, so I purchased it. And I think that's everything for this binder. The last one is 10. Okay, so I have I'm gonna move for 10 to put away, but I don't think I'll put away his Sanrio stuff until the rest of it arrives. So I can put it all away at once. So this is my 10 album binder. It has significantly less than his non-album. Because SM just likes money. But the first thing I have to put away are the Awaken the World China fan sign, Pre-Order Benefits. I really wanted these when they first came out, but I think there's probably a lot going on. I didn't really have the money to get them all. And then I finally found a listing on eBay for a really, really, really good price, and I did buy them all. So I will put these in here. I already had this one. I think I purchased it somewhere. And these are so freaking adorable. I love him with his little glasses on. The peace sign. He looks like Harry Potter. So I finally have this set, which is very exciting because, again, Wavy does not have very many releases, so. I do try and collect what I can. And then I have the other China fan sign card for 10. I don't remember <laughs> if they're from, which one's first? I don't know. This one is by far my favorite. There's a little Christmas tree behind him. So this is gonna be my favorite Christmas PC from now on. 
I put in here. So that's for resonance. And then the last one is for kickback. I have the China fan sign ones for this era as well. I don't have quite the space for them because there's five. I don't know. I remember his version one being very, very popular since it has like that background of flowers and third, fourth. So for these, I'm going to have to put the fifth one just like back here, which is not something I enjoyed doing for my 10 collection. But there are also two China fan sign ones. When I say China fan sign, I mean the like this one, I can't pronounce it, I'm not gonna botch it. <laughs> there are also two fan sign cards for that site for Universe, and I think I'll put those here. Um, and I do have those on the way. So yeah, that is everything for Ten's album binder. Um, next is his non-album stuff. Yeah, this one is way bigger because SM sucks. And mostly just merchandises off of their artists. But uh, whatever. Um, so, for this, I have a couple of different things for 10. I have this holo card from NCT 2018. Um, not that easy to come by, but this one I got really cheap because he's like... He's a little damaged right there, if you can see it. So I got it for a really cheap price. I don't buy every single 10 merchandise, it's just too much. But I do try and collect all the holographic ones. I have like, I think like five or six more on the way. Because I realized that one never arrived from a group order because they scammed us all. Yeah, so more merchandise. Um, I do have some stuff for season's greetings. So these are the f pouch photos the 2021 season's greeting which i guess i'll put here i don't know why it took me forever to get that oh no i do it's another one from the other group order manager that scammed us all but i did end up purchasing it and i have it now and then i have the polaroid for it which will go here and i don't have any one pages okay i don't have any one pocket pages left so i'm just gonna diy this one <laughs> Good enough. So now I have that finally. I do want the Aladdin pre-order benefit for 2022 season greeting, and ideally it'll go here. But the last thing I have for 10 is his. What's this called? So this is his set from the. Okay, yeah. This is his set from the antique hand mirror that SM did. Honestly, I didn't even know about it until I saw it up for sale somewhere. But it comes with this holographic circle card and the matching selfie photo card. And like a really, no offense, ugly hand mirror. I'm sure it's not that bad, but NCT, since Wavy were considered NCT for the release, the, the green just isn't a nice color. But I do have this photo card set. And I think that's it for 10. And that is everything for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.